Hey tubers, welcome back. So today, um, it's Sunday, and I used to always go to the flea market every single Sunday of my life, and I kind of cut back from that, um, mostly because I didn't have any place to put anything any longer. But um, I've been home the last couple of days um, fixing the furnace and doing stuff like that. So I figured I'd give myself a treat and I would go out um, to the local flea market. It's located at the intersection of Route 84 and Route 9. And I can't say the real name of the town, but let's call it Fish Will, New York, near Fish Will, New York. So anyway, while I was there, guy had this um, tire um, and obviously this is for one of those pit bikes probably more of the chopper version and I gave him 15 bucks for it and the reason why is it's complete it's got the um, the tensioner right for pulling the chain tight on both sides it's got the sprocket, it's got the disc brake, um, it's got the caliper there, though no, I'd be surprised if it was any good. The tire's not great, but it holds air, <coughs> and it has the axle and spacers. So, for 15 bucks, um, I figure that might be a solution to... Uh, some mini bike situation I'm building and once again given that it's complete typically this assembly on eBay sold for about a hundred bucks so I figured for 15 I would pick it up this is a number 35 the chain size is 35 it's a sprocket for a go-kart it's made out of aluminum it's got 84 tooth on it um, and I won three dollars on that. The chain, number 35 chain, um, I went um, two dollars on this, and part of the reason why I went two bucks, it, it had the master link right there. I figured for the money, what the heck. Um, so this was one deal for 15, the sprocket was the second deal for three chain was two bucks from another person and then this this stuff here was eight dollars so it seems that my digital calipers are hiding currently so um this is kind of i picked up another set um when i was a kid growing up my father had a set of these um these stanleys back when they made them here um and I used those through my whole childhood. So anyway, his set looked exactly like this set. And um, that was part of the $8 deal. This is an SK quarter inch. And I always need it for my pellet stove. So I figured, what the heck. And then X-Acto. A um, couple of spare blades and all. Sometimes um, one needs to do really fine trimming with gaskets and so forth. So that'll help me with that. So once again, this was eight bucks. What did I pay for these? I think I paid seven for these. Um, these are impact, the impact version. Normally the DeWalt stuff's a little better. It's got a little neck here. I guess there's a collar that you can actually slip on here for guiding your, your um, the screws in better. So I guess there's five of them over a buck each um once again number two phillips head really handy when you're uh when you're driving screws and once again impact so um a little better a little longer length too so uh seven dollar deal gloves there are 12 in here they were eight bucks they're just cotton gloves i use them all the time some some days it seems that I go through more than one pair of them so um, this is cotton thread it came with a you know sewing needle 
uh, do some real Frankenstein stitches with those. Anyway, so this and the recoil together were um, five bucks. So um, I just I just picked up a, a few things that you know I regularly use uh, around the house or you know have kind of a you know a little bit of a sentimental bend to them. Um, yeah, I my father had a set of these, and boy, we we used the heck out of them. Used them for chisels and everything else. You know, they were made out of real good material. Um, you know, sprockets like this, a lot of times I'll just kind of add them to a, uh, a box where I keep those, those things. And, uh, next thing I know I'm in there and it's like, well, boy, you know, maybe I have, I don't know, 30 bucks tied up in the whole box of sprockets and gears and pulleys and, and collars and all that kind of stuff but um when you need something out of there if you don't have the assortment you don't have a choice you got to order and a lot of times if you do have an assortment you could get close to what you want so when you order it's easier to get it on the first try where um without it you're you got to kind of order both sides of it to make sure you get exactly what you want for for sprocket diameter or pulley diameter or, or whatever so um and once again even i mean this thing is complete you know the bearings sound like they need oil well actually that's the collar i think squeaking yeah that's the collar the bearings actually feel pretty good so that was worth 15. all right i want to thank you all for uh for coming out with me I want you all to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.